Hello everyone, in this video I'll be talking about natural products uh, from the chapter 51. The book name is Cladin, not Cladding. Someone heard me wrongly that I'm saying Cladding, so it's not Cladding, but it's Cladin, okay? Uh, Jonathan Cladin is the name of an author and some other authors who wrote this beautiful book about organic chemistry and from that book I'm uh, following the chapter 51 and we will be looking at some of the important uh, uh, topics such as natural products are made by secondary metabolism we'll be discussing natural products come in enormous variety but fall mainly into four types such as alkaloids polyketides terpenes and steroids so these are the four major classes of these uh, uh natural products for major classes then we will discuss alkalides or amines made from amino acids then we will discuss polypyrrolidine alkalides from ornithine benzoyl isoquinoline alkalides from tyrosine morphine alkalides are made by radical cyclization fatty acids are built up from acetylcholine and melanocholine subunits Polyketides are unreduced variants of fatty acids. Then we will discuss terpenes are made from mevalonic acid. Steroids are tetracyclic terpene derivatives. Then biomimetic synthesis learning from nature. Then we will look for organic synthesis in chapter 53. So these are the main uh, points that we will be discussing in this chapter. And the book name is Claydin, Jonathan Claydin and the chapter is 51 let's move on to the introduction by natural products we mean the molecules of nature okay that is the simple meaning of natural products when we say something is belonging to natural products that means these are the molecules of nature okay of course all life is made up of molecules and we will not be discussing in great detail the major biological molecules such as proteins and nucleic acids. So these are the big biological molecules which are important in life which we looked in chapter 49 and 50. This is the book of Claydin. Claydin where you can go and visit chapter 49 and 50 to discuss about the these things in this chapter we shall talk much more about molecules such as adrenaline or epinephrine Adrenaline is a human hormone. It is produced in moments of stress and increases our blood pressure and heart rate ready for fight or flight. That is a hormone uh, which is responsible for this sort of feelings in human body. You have got to sit an exam tomorrow, surge of adrenaline, you know, when you have an exam tomorrow, you will feel and is that something is going on inside your body that is because of adrenaline. To an organic chemist, adrenaline is intensely interesting because of its remarkable biological activity. Okay. So organic chemist looks things in a different way. So, and because of its remarkable biological activity, but it's also a molecule whose chemical reactions can be studied, whose NMR spectrum can be analyzed, because most of the natural products are so complex that we, we find it hard to analyze their structures, which can be synthesized and which can be imitated in the search for new medicines. By the end of this chapter, the chapter is from the Claydin and we are discussing this. We hope you will be able to recognize 
recognize some basic clauses of nature products and know a bit about their chemistry. We will meet alkaloids such as conine, the molecule in hemlock that killed Socrates. So the molecule that was responsible for killing the Socrates was conine and terpene such as thujone which was probably the toxin in absentee that killed the 19th century artists in Paris. These are the structures. This is the molecule conine and alkaloid. Socrates took it and he was died after taking this. And this is the adrenaline, a molecule which is responsible for fight or flight kind of emotions. And it's a two zone, a terpene molecule, a natural product which is responsible for killing artists in Paris. So natural product has a big history, a very rich history in fact I would say. So this compound is responsible for killing famous philosopher of Greek that is Socrates. And this hormone is present inside our body and it's released when we have some anxiety or stressful feeling and it's responsible for fight or flight sort of emotions. And this is a two zone which is responsible for killing several artists in Paris. And let's uh, discuss more. Then there are the ambiguous natural products such as steroid cholesterol, which may cause innumerable deaths through through heart disease but which is a vital component of cell walls and the polyketide thromboxane one drop of which would instantaneously clot all the blood in your body sometimes you see that you find a cut or you get a wound on your any part of a body and then blood doesn't stop flowing then you just get thromboxane which will help you to clot the blood but without which you would bleed to death if you cut yourself that's the point that is due to this thromboxane an organic molecule which it belongs to the polyketide family and steroids are very famous for different reasons here is an example uh, of an steroid class of natural products which is cholesterol if you look at the structure of cholesterol it contains four uh, rings three six member rings and a side chain and it contains various uh, Uh, um, uh, esterogenic centers in uh, in the cholesterol um, molecule you can see this is an esterocenter this one is also an esterocenter these are the esterocenters and this is also esterocenter this one is also stereocenter this one is esterocenter this one is esterocenter so there are several esterocenters and there is a double bond as well in cholesterol steroid and if you look at this is a thromboxane which is a polyketide and this molecule is responsible for clotting the blood otherwise we will bleed till death and it is also a chiral molecule and it's a natural product. We will look at the structural variety within these four important classes and beyond from perhaps the smallest natural product nitric, acid, uh, nitric oxide which controls penile erections in men to something approaching the largest the polyketide brevoxtin the algal product in red tides which appear in coastal uh, waters from time to time and kill fish and those who eat fish here is an example that is brevoxetin a toxic polyketide if you look at this structure it's huge it's massive if you see this the first member is a six member ring having ether linkage uh, having ester and alkene the second ring is ether third ring is also ether fourth is ether six is ether seven ether eighth ether this one is ether as well as alkene this is ether this one is ether and this one is ether and alcohol then a double bond then an aldehyde so it contains several stereogenic centers before moving on just paused to admire bre brevioxtin, brevitoxin, a wonderful and deadly molecule. Look at the alternating oxygen atoms on the top and bottom faces of alternate rings. So your top, oxygen, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom. 
top bottom top bottom so look at these rings themselves six seven and eight members so six 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 seven eight six seven six eight six 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 one and more than one oxygen atom trace the continuous carbon chain running from the lectone carbon group in the bottom left and corner to the aldehyde so this is the carbon going on towards this carbon there's no break in this chain and other than methyl groups no branch with 22 stereogenic centers this is a beautiful piece of molecular architecture if you want to read more about brevi uh, a brevi toxin Mm. Brevi toxin. If you want to read more about brevi toxin, read this. Uh, read the last chapter in Nicholas and Sorensen's classics in total synthesis. So you should appreciate how big and complex molecules that can be obtained from natural product resources. Many natural products are the source of important life-saving drugs. Consider the millions of lives saved by penicillin, a family of amino acid metabolites. This is a structure which this is the first metabolites. This is the penicillin. If you look at this structure, there is a four member ring containing this amide functionality, then thioether uh, and a carboxylic acid, and it contains amide outside the ring as well, and it contains several structures. So these are the important um, key introduction that I told you from the Claydon book. And uh, I'll be making more videos from this chapter related to natural product chemistry but if you haven't understood anything then please feel free to comment below in this video I'll explain what to do more. Take care, thanks for watching, bye bye.